What's going on guys, it's Indokubi here and I'm back with another unboxing video. Now it is currently 12.14 a.m. on November 15th, 2013. Yes, today is the day that the PS4 has finally released and I'm super excited to do this unboxing. So let's get started. Alright, let's do this. And here it is. Here's the box. PlayStation 4. Get the sides. Alright, the top. And the back. And on the bottom it shows a serial number, but you know, I shouldn't really show that. And so let's open this thing up. And as you can see it as well. Again, my boot, uh, bootleg knife. Come on. I think that got it. Alright, give me just a second. Let me position this to a better angle so you guys can get a better view. Hold on real quick. Alright, so I repositioned the angle of the camera so, you know, you guys can get, you know, a better view. I know it was kind of dark when I was recording just a few seconds ago, but, you know, try to correct that because this is no ordinary unboxing. Alright, so in here we have some components. We have the special offer which, if I'm not mistaken, this is the PlayStation Plus one month um, free membership trial. Um, the Music Unlimited 30 day trial and a $10 voucher. However, I'm not going to open this because it does contain the code inside. And you got Welcome to the World of PlayStation. You know, the, just the little starter booklets. inside let's see you got the HDMI cable the power cord the headphones or you know the mono earpiece let me focus on that okay and the USB. Now notice that this is actually a micro USB not a mini USB so if there's any people out there thinking that the USB cable that's provided with the PlayStation 3 will work with the um, DualShock 4 it will not. You need a micro USB cord. And just to show off the other things again because my camera wasn't focused um, HDMI cord and power cord. Next on the inside, we have the DualShock 4. And now, the most important part. It's kind of heavy. Still inside bits plastic. Let me move that back a bit. That is the PlayStation 4. Let me get out the plastic for y'all. Just a second. And also for the sake of the um of the sake of the unboxing to keep the system clean, I decided to put some gloves on. You know, just to keep the glossy part of the PS4 smudge free. So Let's get the plastic off. Move this out the way. Put that here. 
and there it is the PlayStation 4 in all of its glory let you see every angle of it let me focus that So yeah, first impressions, this thing is heavier than I thought, that's for certain. Um, it's a very beautiful design, it's angular as we saw, pretty much like a sideways, you know, console shape. Yeah, nonetheless, uh, it looks pretty well built. There were uh, rumors going on online that if you tilt the side of the console, it'll wobble. Yeah, that is not true. I'm putting it on a table, clearly a flat surface. I'm pressing the side. Yeah, it's wobbling because I'm overpressing it now, but besides that, you know, naturally pressing it on the side, it seems sturdy enough. It's not going to wobble. So, there's that. But yeah, that is the PlayStation 4. Let's get some comparisons in. Just a second. Alright, so for comparisons, I'm putting it next to my PS3 Slim, and, you know, it, it doesn't look that much different in size, in shape, you know, of course, the PlayStation 4 is flat, the PS3 Slim has that little curvature on the top, but they look relatively the same in size. Let's try putting it in a different angle. Yeah, again, relatively same in size. Let's try and stand both of these up. Whoa. Yeah, the PlayStation 4 seems to be just a bit shorter, actually. Yeah, just a little bit shorter than the PS3 Slim. Besides that, you know, they're just about the same size. Oh. Yeah. Alright, next up we have the controllers. Alright, now we have the controllers. Now, I did do an unboxing video for the DualShock 4 earlier, so I'll put that link in the description if you want a more in-depth, you know, feel of how the controller is in, you know, in size comparison towards the PlayStation 3. And I also did do a compatibility test with it on the PS3, so if you want, you know, more details, I'll put that link in the description. But nonetheless, DualShock 4, DualShock 3. And as you can see, the DualShock 4 does retain the natural PlayStation, you know, DualShock shape. However, you know, it's redesigned to be more ergonomic and fit in the hands a lot more comfortably. Other features are that it does support a touchpad on the front and the buttons start and select have been replaced with the share button and the options button. Now, you can use this, like I stated earlier, you can use the DualShock 4 on the PS3, and the share buttons and option buttons do function as start and select. However, compatibility is somewhat limited, so I wouldn't like try and use this as like a replacement controller for your PS3 as well, because in the end, it doesn't work with some games. But nonetheless, it's a great controller. It feels absolutely amazing. The controller sticks have a bit of a resistance to them, but it's the resistance that's been needed because on the DualShock 3, you know how it feels really loose when you use the controller sticks. You, you know, this feels absolutely phenomenal. Again, buttons are really clicky. Random thing when you press the PS button, it glows white. Well, a whitish blue. 
pretty cool actually. Yep, so that's the DualShock 4. Alright, and what good would a, a console do without some games? I did pick up three games. They are... One game that I'm most excited to play is Killzone Shadowfall. Game looks absolutely awesome. What will you sacrifice for peace? Another game is Call of Duty Ghosts. A changed world, redefined multiplayer, and all new squads mode. Plus a bonus map, so that's awesome. And I ended up going with Knack. You know, people really have been, you know, not giving this game justice. Adventure awaits. Um, but anyways, these guys, you know, people have not been giving this game justice. They keep on saying that it's, you know, it looks like a child's game. But I personally think that it's going to be great. It's made by Mark Cerny. And for those who don't know, like, he's been working on games such as Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Crash Bandicoot. Spiral the Dragon, like, and all of those games are great. As w on top of that, he's a lead system archi or lead, um, yeah, system architect on the PlayStation 4. So, I'm pretty sure, like, he has the expertise to make a great game. I'm gonna give it a shot. I at least recommend you guys give this game a shot. You know, if you don't like it, y you know, I at least you gave the game a shot. If there's some of you guys waiting for it to decrease in price, I guess that's fine as well, but. I really do at least recommend giving this game a shot. But, you know, enough talk, let's unbox these games. Alright, first I'll start off with Knack. There it is with the plastic off. And there's the game. Wow, um, it doesn't come with any type of instruction booklet or anything, but we have come in to the day and age where everything is going digital. So I don't know if it's going to be like inside of like the game, like sort of like how the Vita is, or if there just isn't one in general. But apparently it doesn't come with one. But besides that, here it is, the game knack. Yeah, that's how the PS4 disc looks like. Alright, next is Call of Duty Ghosts. Here it is, and that's the game, and there's, let's see, Season Pass, I think this is just details on it, let me try and get that out, yeah, so I guess the front was just details on the Season Pass, yeah. And then info on Destiny. And wow. Um, a seven day trial to PlayStation Plus, as well as the Freefall downloadable map. That is absolutely awesome. I didn't even know it came with that. So that's cool. Try and get that out. Yeah, the code is on the back, so I don't think I'll be trying to show that. Even so, like, the code will be used by the time you guys see this video. But that is Call of Duty Ghosts. And last but not least, Killzone Shadowfall. This plastic's actually tougher to get off. There we go.
There it is. Kill zone. So that's the disc, and wow, again, another seven day trial to PlayStation Plus. That is absolutely awesome. And most likely the code is on the back, so I will not be showing the back of that as well. But at least you know what to expect in Killzone Shadowfall. Alright, so that's my unboxing video for the PlayStation 4. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. And also, I will be trying to get some gameplay videos up for NAC, Killzone, and Call of Duty, for like, so look out for that. And yeah, again, thanks for watching. See you guys later.